Hi, welcome to Food Goodie. Um, today we're going to make my version of shepherd's pie. So you make the mashed potatoes. I already made mine, which um, if they're not instant, unfortunately, but it would be if you're making them fresh. It's a potato and a half per person. And you boil them, cut them up, peel them, cut them up. And once they're tender, we drain them, add a little bit of salt and pepper to the pot, add some milk, butter, and then you, what you do is just whip them up. So, and then you set it aside. Now, what you do now is this here, we're going to prepare the meat. Okay, so for those vegetarians, you can follow the steps except leave the meat out and use vegetables in replace of the meat. Or you can use chicken or turkey. Okay? So now, in this here, I put sofrito, of course, because it's the peppers, onions. It's all cut up already. And what I did was I put um, a teaspoon of beef bouillon and I put a tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay? So that's the thickener. Here's the base, but you're not going to put this in yet. So I'm defrosting the sofrito because it's actually um, two cubes of that. Now, we're gonna cook the beef, which you should have that on uh, the pan. Also, uh, cause, so this is like round ground, but you could, a pound of it, but you can use ground sirloin. However, they didn't have it. But um, no fat in the pan. Try to use a non-stick pan. But you don't want any fat or any grease because the meat will have enough of that. And um, use a vegetable you have on hand. And what I had on hand was fresh spinach. So I will add that to it once the meat is ready. And we'll come back to that and I'll show you on how it looks. Okay? Okay, so welcome back. So now you're at this stage, right? You lower it a little bit. And now we're going to add this. Because this has everything in it. So you could add a little, little bit of water if you want. Very little. And then what you do is you go like this. See how it gets. Toss it around. And you see if you feel that you need a little bit more bouillon, you could always do that. But it's better to be safe and just wait and see how it comes out. If not, then you could always um, make more so it makes like a gravy. Which I think I need more bouillon personally. But some people don't like that. Okay, so now I mix a little bit more bouillon to try to make some gravy. If you want to cut out this step, just buy a package of gravy. Uh, however, I'm doing that. And you could add flour or cornstarch as a thickener. Which you have to wait before you add it. But you definitely want the flake. And you have to let it cook a little bit, simmer a little bit, until it gets to that consistency. So you let it cook a little bit and put it on low. Let it cook a little bit. And you see till it get, makes a little bit of gravy and it thickens. If not, then you make a little bit more, a little bit more till you get it to the right consistency. Be right back. Okay, so now you put the spinach on top and you cook it for another 10 minutes um, till the spinach is done. You mix it all up and, uh, and that's it. Okay, so when you add the spinach, like whatever vegetable you have on hand, I happen to have spinach. So I thought it would be better anyway different version so you could eat also use pork sausage whatever you want so here we go so when it's like this that you already put the meat, the meat and everything that cooked in the spinach 
put it in a pie dish like this. And after you put in a pie dish like this, it gets more interesting. Now, let me see. At least you have your meat, your vegetables, you have everything. So with this, it was, uh, this here happened to be four potatoes. Just do one of these. You don't have to necessarily cover the whole thing if you don't want. I mean, it's up to you. And you top it with a little bit of butter. Put in the oven on 350. When the <clears throat> potatoes on the top, have, you know, you put a little bit of butter. When the potatoes on top get a little golden, and you take it out. And that's it. And then you serve it. You can serve it with whatever you want. Uh, garlic bread is good. But other than that, you could just also eat it as is. Because it has everything in it. So. And that's it. Really. Use the butter of your choice. And we just do this a little bit, not a lot. So I'll show you the finished product. Okay, welcome back. This is the finished product. And um, so it was 25 minutes on 350. And that's it. You let it wait a couple of minutes, let it set. And you serve it. It's a garlic bread salad. Remember, it has meat in it, vegetables, and mashed potatoes. So hope you make it and enjoy. Bye.